Unit One. Where do you come from? Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thank you. Where are you from? I come from England. You come from England? Do you like Manchester United? Um, I don't like football. Oh, you don't like football. Hmm. I see. Why did you come here? I came for vacation. You came for vacation. Are you having fun? Yes, I'm having a great time. What do you like the best about here? What do I like the best? Well, the people are very kind. Yes, the people here are kind. Do you like the food? Yes, the food is great. Is the food too spicy for you? No, I love spicy food. I can eat spicy food every day. How much longer will you stay here? I will stay two more days. Oh. Then you will go home. Yes. Then I will go home. Where do you work? I work for a big company. What kind of company do you work for? I work for an import company. And、uh, what about you? I work at a bank. Huh? Are you a bank teller? No, <laughs> I'm the owner. Oh. Unit two. How was your vacation? Hey. How was your vacation? It was very fun. Oh. Where did you go? I went to the beach. Who did you go with? I went with my father, mother, and older sister. Do you have a house at the beach? No, we stayed at a hotel.、Uh, which hotel did you stay at? It's called the Imperial.、Uh, have you stayed there before? Yes, we've been going there for years. Must be very nice. Yes, it's very nice. And not too expensive. Did you play in the water? Yes, I went swimming and I rode the banana boat. <laughs> How about your older sister? She does not like the water. She likes to sit on the beach and read a book. What do your mother and father like to do? They like to eat in the restaurant. <laughs> How long was your vacation? Three or four days. And will you go there again next year? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Unit three. Do you remember me? Hey, is that Bill? Uh. Yeah.、Uh, um. Do you remember me from school?、Mm, I'm sorry, I don't remember you. Did we study together? Yes, and we lived in the same dorm too. Really? What floor did you live on? I lived on the ninth floor. You lived on the seventh floor. That's right. How did you know? I would see you in the elevator sometimes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't remember you. It's all right. It was several years ago. Well, anyway, it's nice to meet you again.、Um, Monica. Monica Sales, right? Yes. See, so you do remember me. <laughs> okay. So where do you live now? I live in an apartment. Oh, do you live with your parents? No, my parents moved to the country. Oh, they must be very happy there. Yes, they enjoy it very much. So, do you live alone? No, I share the apartment with an old friend. Really, a friend? 
Is he a boyfriend? <laughs> no, she's an old friend from school. We've known each other for many years. How about you, Bill? Where do you live? Oh, I rent an apartment. I'm by myself. Do you like it there? Yeah, but it's kind of noisy. Oh, maybe you should complain with your neighbors. Oh, no, no, no. I'm the one who makes the noise. <laughs> <laughs> Unit 4. I like your style. Hey, I like your shirt. Thanks. It's new. I got it last week. Huh. Did you get anything else? No, just the shirt. Where did you get it? I got it from the weekend market. How much did it cost? It cost about $12. Really? That did not cost too much at all. Yeah, it's a good price. Huh. Do you like to wear hats? Yeah, I like to wear hats, but only in the winter time when it is cold. Hmm. Do you like to wear jewelry? I just have this necklace that my girlfriend gave to me. Aww. What do you think about fashion? I think it is important to be in fashion. Do you have a pierced ear? No, I do not have a pierced ear. Do you have a tattoo? Yes, I do. Huh, what is the tattoo of? It's a big blue scary monster. Huh? Really? Yeah. Wow, can I see it? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, here's my tattoo. <laughs> Unit 5, Family. Do you have any brothers and sisters? I have one sister. Who is older, you or your sister? My sister is older than me. Do you get along with your sister? Yes, we get along okay. How about your parents? My father died many years ago. I am sorry to hear about that. My mother is fine, though. She is very strong and likes to work. What does your mother do? She teaches at a university. That's great. What does she teach? She teaches psych. Pardon me? I do not understand. She teaches psychology. Psychology. I understand now. How about you? Are you married? I'm not married yet. I had a girlfriend for many years, but we broke up. I'm sad to hear that. Unit 6. Returning a shirt to the store. Can I return this? What is it? It's a shirt. What's wrong with it? Well, nothing's wrong with it. It just doesn't fit. Is the color wrong? No, the color is fine, but the size is much too small. Do you remember when you bought it? Um, I didn't. You didn't buy the shirt. Who bought it? My friend bought it. Do you remember when your friend bought it? She bought it last week. Okay, good. Do you have the receipt? As a matter of fact, I do. Let me have the shirt and the receipt, please. Okay. Would you like to exchange it for a larger size? Um, can I get cash back instead? No, but I can give you store credit. What is that? Well, the shirt was $19.99, right? Yeah, that's right. Well, I can give you a store coupon good for $19.99. Or you can exchange this shirt for a larger size. Okay, I'll take the coupon. Okay. Thank you. Unit 7, 
Do you have a pet? Do you have a pet? Yes, I do. Oh. What kind of pet do you have? Can you guess? Hmm. Can I guess? Okay. Do you have a pet dog? No, I do not have a pet dog. Hmm. Okay. You do not have a pet dog. Do you have a pet cat? No, I do not have a pet cat. You do not have a pet cat. Do you have a pet fish? No, I do not have a pet fish. You don't have a pet fish. <sighs> you cannot guess? Do you want me to tell you? No, wait a minute. I'm thinking. Give me one more guess. Okay. I'll give you one more guess. I know. You have a pet monkey. What? A pet monkey? Why would I have a pet monkey? Because you look like a monkey. <laughs> I don't look like a monkey. You look like a monkey. <laughs> okay, I cannot guess. What kind of pet do you have? I have a pet iguana. An iguana? How unusual. Where did you get it? From the pet shop. How long have you had it? Mm, about four years. Wow. What is your iguana's name? Uh, his name is Winnie. Winnie. What does Winnie do? Winnie doesn't do very much. He's quite lazy. Oh. Well, what does Winnie eat? Winnie's a vegetarian. Winnie eats vegetables. That's quite interesting. Unit 8. What kind of food do you like? What kind of foods do you like? I like all kinds of foods. Really? Can you eat spicy food? I love spicy food. The hotter, the better. You are so lucky. Why am I lucky? It's terrible when I eat a hot pepper. Can you eat Thai or Mexican food? Yes, I can, but only if it's really bland. Do you eat out very often? Sometimes. Do you have a favorite restaurant? I do have a favorite vegetarian restaurant. Are you a vegetarian? Yes, I am. So you don't eat chicken or pork? No chicken, no pork, but I do eat fish. Are you vegetarian for health reasons or religious reasons? Mostly for health reasons. Hmm. All this talk about food has made me hungry. Are you hungry? Yes, I am. Would you like to go to my favorite vegetarian restaurant? What is good there? Well, of course, the fresh vegetables are outstanding. Sounds delicious. Let's go. Unit 9. What do you want to do after you graduate. Do you study? Yes, I study at the university. Oh. What subject do you study? I am studying marketing. Okay, and uh, when will you graduate? I will graduate next semester. Okay. Will you continue to study for your master's degree? No, not yet. Hmm. What will you do after you graduate? I'm not sure yet. It depends. Depends on what? It depends on what kinds of job offers I get. What do you mean? Well, if I get a job that provides opportunity, I will take it. What other jobs have you applied for? Oh, I've made many applications to all kinds of companies. Okay. 
What kinds of companies did you apply to? Hotels, factories, import companies. What if you get a job far away from home? I would rather stay close to my family. What will you do if you cannot find a job? If I cannot find a job, I will stay in school and study for a master's degree. A master's degree in what faculty? I'm not sure yet. I'll have to think about it. Unit 10. Planning a trip. Let's get out of the city this weekend. Mm, that's a good idea. I'm getting sick of being here. Do you want to go to the beach? We always go to the beach. Let's do something different. How about camping? Hmm. Camping? That sounds terrific. All my ideas are terrific. Do you have a tent? No, do you? Hmm. No, but I can borrow a large one from my friend. How about a sleeping bag? Yes, I have a sleeping bag. Do you have one? No, I don't. Do you want to share one with me? No, thanks. I'll buy a new sleeping bag. Do you think we should go far, far away? How much time do you have? I can leave Friday after work. I can leave Friday too. When do you have to be back? Well, I have to be back by Sunday. Okay, we'll be back by Sunday. What should we do while we're there? Do you want to go hiking? Hiking? Okay, but we shouldn't go far from the campground. If we stay around the campground, will you bring the barbecue? Of course. What is camping without a barbecue? Will you make your famous hamburgers? Sure thing. I'll make hamburgers. Should we invite some friends? Great idea. Let's invite all of our friends. This is going to be fun. I can't wait. Unit 11. Hobbies. Do you have any hobbies? Yes, I have several. Really? Please, tell me more about your hobbies. Well, I do like to collect things. Really? What do you like to collect? I like to collect stamps. Really? Where do you collect stamps from? I collect stamps from all over the world. Why do you do that? Because eventually I hope to have a stamp from every country. Why do you want all of those stamps? Well, I think it's because I won't be able to go to those countries myself. Oh, what is another hobby of yours? I collect beer. Pardon me? You collect beer? Well, actually I collect beer cans. Okay. Where do you get the cans from? From every place that I travel to. Do you drink the beer? Nah, I'm not a beer drinker. Oh, I see. What about you? What are your hobbies? Well, I like to read a lot. Really? What do you read about? I like to read about bestsellers, and I like to read a lot about science, too. Hmm. What kind of science do you read about? A variety of topics, but I especially like to read about nature and about electronics. Fascinating. Why do you like to read so much? Well, I think it helps me exercise my brain. <laughs> well, that's a good reason. If it doesn't make you too tired. Unit 12. The first time to meet. Alex. Hey. Hey. This is my friend Bob. He's from England. Oh, 
Hey! Um, excuse me, okay? Sit down, please. What city in England do you come from? I come from London. Have you ever been there? No, I've never been. I hope to go someday. You can, if you have true desire. Have you been here a long time? I've been here for about seven years. How about you? Oh, I've been here all my life. Why have you stayed here such a long time? I've stayed here for many reasons. Stayed for many reasons. Are you married? Yes, I am. Is your wife beautiful? Would you like to see a picture of my wife? That would be nice. Oh, she's very lovely. Is she from around here? Thank you. Yes, she is from here. Do you have any children? No, no children yet, but certainly in the future. Where do you work? I work at the newspaper. Wow, the newspaper. What do you do there? I am a reporter. Unit 13. What would you like to do? That's part of what's interesting. It's not a consumer model, if you will, but instead what we do is we go to the district. I'm bored. Let's do something. What do you want to do? I don't know. Anything is fine. Mm, let's go see a movie. No, I went to see three movies this week. Three? Whoa, why so many? Because I was bored all week. Well, you want to play some sports? No, I don't want to play any sports. Why not? Sports are fun. Well, I don't want to run around and get all hot. Yeah, it's kind of hot. Um, how about shopping? You want to go shopping? I like shopping, but I have to watch my money until the end of the month. Well, we could go eat dinner. Dinner is a good idea. Where would you like to eat? I heard about this new Japanese restaurant down at the mall. Huh. Is it expensive? Uh, it's not too expensive, but it's not cheap. Okay, well, that sounds good. And when we're finished, we can go window shopping. Hmm, that sounds like fun. Oh, and if we want, we can play some indoor air-conditioned sports. Really? Which sport has air conditioning? Bowling! Bowling! Right! Great! Let's go! Okay. Unit 14. Coffee or tea? Excuse me. Yes? Would you like some coffee or tea while you're waiting? Mm, yes, that would be lovely. Thank you. Which would you prefer, coffee or tea? Mm, oh, coffee, please. And how would you like your coffee? Two sugars and some milk. Okay, I'm sorry, but we don't have any milk. Is coffee mate all right? Coffee, coffee mate is fine. Okay. It's one coffee. I'll be right back. Oh, excuse me. Yes. Do you use fresh ground coffee? No, we don't. We use instant coffee. Nescafe, I think. Mm. I see. On um, second thought, can I have some tea, please? Yes. Tea. What kind of tea would you like? What kind of tea do you have? We have Earl Grey, green tea, or Lipton. Green tea is Chinese, is it not? Yes. I'll try the green tea. Okay. Would you like that iced or hot? Iced. Iced sounds nice. Okay. Not one, too sweet. One iced green tea. Would you like a cookie? Cookie? No, no thank you. Okay. How about an apple? Yes, I'd like an apple. Okay. One iced green tea and one apple. I'll be right back. Unit 15. Have you ever traveled abroad? Have you ever traveled abroad? Yes, I have. In fact, I was born abroad. 
You were born abroad. Where were you born? I was born in Japan. You're joking. No, I'm not joking. It's true. I was made in Japan. <laughs> Do you speak Japanese? No, I don't. I left when I was young. How old were you? I was nine. You were nine years old and you do not speak Japanese? No, I was nine months old. Oh. What other countries have you been to? Well, I went to Mexico. How was that? It was great. What did you like the best? Well, the ruins were interesting. Anything else you liked? The beaches were nice. Where else have you been? I lived in London for one year. Really? How was that? I was only eight years old. You were eight years old. What were you doing there? I went there with my mother. She was working there. Of all the countries you've been to, which is your favorite country? Thailand. Why do you like Thailand? I love Thailand because the food is delicious and the people are very friendly. Unit 16 Shopping Hi, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to buy a washing machine. Okay, which brand would you like? I don't care so much about brands. So, what are you looking for? I'm looking for a good price and good functions. Okay. Function and price are important to you. That's right. Okay. Uh, first, may I ask you, what size washer do you need? What do you mean by what size washer? Well, like, a small size is 4 kilos. A large size is 8 kilos. Do you have a medium size? Sure. Medium size is 6 kilos. Okay. I think I want a medium size. All right. And do you want a one-bin or a two-bin washer? What's the difference between one-bin and two-bin? Well, with a two-bin washer, you have to move the clothes to the spinner yourself. And the one-bin? Oh, it does it automatically. It's a two-in-one spin-bin. Oh, I understand. Um, which one cleans better? Uh, they clean the same. Really? And do the washers cost the same? Well, the one-bin washer is more expensive, but it's simple to use. Uh, simple is important. Well, I think I'd like the one-bin washer. You know, if you like things simple and easy, may I suggest to you the fuzzy logic function. Mm, what is the fuzzy logic? Oh, fuzzy logic is a special function. It makes using the washer easier. Hmm, how does the function work? <laughs> well, you put in your clothes, you put in the soap, and the washer does the rest. Sounds perfect. This is exactly the kind of washing machine I've been looking for. Unit 17. My house was robbed. Hey. Did you have a good weekend? No. Not really. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? During the weekend, my house was robbed. Your house was robbed? What do you mean? I mean, I was not there, and someone came and took everything from my house. Someone took everything from your house? That's terrible. Terrible. Yes, I think so. Wow. Did they break anything? Yes, they broke a window to get in. Did they take your television? Yes, they took the television. Oh. Did they take the DVD player? Yes, 
They took the DVD player. Oh. D did they take your laptop? Yes, they took the laptop. Did they take your clothes? Yes, they... No, they did not take my clothes. Oh. <laughs> That's because your clothes are old and out of fashion. Do you really think my clothes are old-fashioned? Yes, I do. They're very old. Oh, this is terrible. First, my house gets robbed, and now my clothes are old-fashioned. Did you tell the police that your house was robbed? Yes, I told the police. What did they say? They didn't say much. They just took a report. Unit 18. Asking information on the phone. Hello? Hi, is this Tina? Yes, it is. Who is this? This is Alex. Do you remember me? I'm sorry, I do not remember you. Um, did you come into the CS computer shop today? I went to many shops today. Where is yours? Our shop is located at the Galaxy Mall. Which floor is your shop on? Uh, CS computer is on the third floor. Oh yes, I think I remember now. What is your name again? Uh, my name is Alex Willis of CS Computer. Oh, I remember you now. You were the tall person. Very handsome? <laughs> yes, that's right. You have a good memory, Tina. So what can I do for you, Mr. Willis? Do you remember coming into our shop and asking about a catalog for computer games? Yes, I remember asking for the catalog. You could not find it. Right. I couldn't find it. But you have it now? Yes. I have the catalog. Great. Would you like for me to keep it here at the shop for you? No. I'm not free to go down there any time soon. Hmm. Well, since you cannot come to the shop, can I send you the catalog? That would be wonderful. Okay. May I have your address, please? It's 2307 T Street, Sacramento, California, 95610. Okay, was that 2703 T Street? No, that's 2307 T Street. Okay, I have your address, and I'll send it to you today. Great, thanks. My pleasure. Mr. Willis? Yes? I often have questions about computers and games. Oh. Well, you can ask me anything. It's my business. Thanks for that. May I have your phone number? Sure. It's 01-867-5309. Call me any time if you have a question. Thanks a lot. My pleasure. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Unit 19. Why do you have a headache? <sighs> Honey, I'm home. How are you? I'm terrible. I have a headache. I'm so sad to hear that. What gives you a headache? There are so many reasons. Maybe you'll feel better if you tell me. Well, work is my biggest headache. What is wrong at work? It's my boss. He always scolds me. Why does your boss scold you? He says I'm lazy and I take too many breaks. Well, do you take too many breaks? I don't think so. Well, why don't you ignore your boss? 
But I can't ignore him. He's my boss. That's too bad. What else gives you a headache? What else gives me a headache? My coworkers. My coworkers give me a headache. Why do your coworkers give you a headache? Because they're always gossiping. Do they gossip about you? Probably, but not to my face. That's too bad. What else gives you a headache? Driving. Driving gives me a headache. Why does driving give you a headache? Well, there's always traffic jams, and there's no place to park. Hmm. Why don't you take a bus to work? Take a bus to work? It's too crowded, and there's never a seat. That's too bad. What can you do to get rid of your headache? Easy. I come home and I see you. Unit 20. What should we get for the party? Are you excited to go to the party? Yes, I am very excited about the party. Do you think we should bring something with us? Yes, I think we should bring a gift or something. What would be good to bring? What about bringing flowers? But the flower shop is so far away. Can you think of something else? What if we bring some chips? Uh, someone else will be bringing chips. Can you think of something else? What about bringing food? Well, we don't have to bring food because there's going to be a buffet at the party. What about bringing my music CD collection? Bringing your music CD collection is a good idea. But they're going to have a DJ at the party. What about bringing some playing cards? You don't have to bring playing cards because there's going to be a mini casino at the party. Really? There's going to be a mini casino at the party? Really? It's true. I'm not kidding. Can you think of something else? There's only one thing the party does not have. What's that? The party does not have us. Let's just bring ourselves. Yeah! Uh, so, to make this sound, just gently put your tongue between your teeth. But remember, your teeth needs to be flat. Don't like this. Don't, don't be like this. Uh, no, just... Okay, very gentle flat and full of your mouth shape like this don't do this mm. no okay and then and then make the air through your lips and your tongue oh sorry your lips and your tongue and your teeth okay the air come through the the tips of the the, the passage between your teeth okay And then say the word right at the position of your tongue. Don't say no. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. Very gentle, okay? Thank you. Thank you.